Well, it's got to be the first time I went climbing in Chudley, which is down in the southwest in Devon. And I'd never been climbing outside before. And it was a really beautiful spot and out in nature. And you just didn't know what, whether you'd be able to climb to the top of one of these cliffs or not. And, uh, and it's, I guess, going into the unknown, that's a, definitely a thread that uh, I've been pursuing ever since. Well, it, well, it's got to be this jacket. I mean, I wear it every day in the winter. You know, I have done for the last three or four years, the Ghost Whisperer jacket. I mean, it's, uh, it's so light that um, it packs up into its pocket and it's so light that you've you know, got no excuse not to have it with you. So, yeah, it's great. Brand. Yeah, it's true though. It is, honestly, I was thinking about it earlier on. I was just like, well, it's got to be this because I wear it every single day, honestly. Um, and I've got about eight of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kendall is a brilliant opportunity for people to come and, and, and get inspired. You know, I think it's a catalyst to uh, people that maybe have ideas to go and do something or maybe they haven't thought about it yet and they come here and then all of a sudden they think of something really cool that they're then going to go and do and and that can like uh, that can be a catalyst to the future for doing something else so i think there's a lot of young people here who uh, listen to the stories and get a chance to meet some of these people that maybe they've not had a chance of meeting before and uh, get really inspired and that that can have a knock-on effect all over the world yeah i think it's pretty cool um, if you want to pinpoint a moment, it's probably watching St um, Stone Monkey, Johnny Dawes. That was the first climbing film I ever saw. And also watching uh, Jerry Moffat win in Leeds 89. I mean, that was like amazing. You know, they're two things that really sparked it off for me. But the first time I came to Kendall, I was speaking, but I got a chance to uh, meet a whole number of people that were doing really amazing stuff. And it made me realize that what I was doing was pretty mediocre, to be honest. <laughs> so I think coming to Kendall, you really, you get an, a, a unique opportunity to see, um, see people that are doing quite outrageous stuff um, in, a, in a raw, personal way and you can like bump into them in the bar and have a chat with them and and yeah get fired up <laughs> yeah that's a classic question actually classic yeah question. it is <laughs> and I've got a, a three-pronged answer to that um, there's uh, yeah so I stopped base jumping three weeks before my son was born and most people that I've spoken to assume or expect that the reason why I stopped base jumping is because I became a dad and um, that is partly true, but the other two reasons why I stopped is because I thought it was going to kill me, and um, it was also killing too many of my friends. And that combination all happened at the same time, and I'm just like, okay, I'm going to stop right now, you know, because um, yeah, like, well, yeah, everyone that I was jumping with is dead now, you know, or they've stopped jumping, um, apart from a very small number of people that are very very proficient at it and I think that for me one of the reasons why I stopped was because I started terrain flying and it was really really fun but I, it came with more risk and I didn't feel that I had the skills to be able to do it knowing for sure that I'd be all right and a lot of the guys that I was jumping with that were way better than I was were getting caught out you know because it's um the thing is it's uh it lures you to go closer to the rocks because it's more fun. And then it only takes like one tiny mistake and then that's it really, so. Oh, oh. you like to uh, you like to see it? <laughs> <laughs> you like to see it, are you? <laughs> well, I want to do something that's never been done before. Okay. And it's a, uh, it's like, it's, we're going to call it a quad vector. It's four different disciplines. Three of them will be at levels or altitudes that I've never done, and one of them will be something that I've done before. And that's all I'm saying, that's I'm not saying anything okay, else. Good yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>